Well, go on. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dre Casting. If it's the first time over here, what we do over here is to analyze the financial market, like chop, chop it up into pieces, so each and everyone can understand. Today, we're going to look at what is a stop loss and take profit in Forex trading or in any type of trading, <laughs> right? So you could be also trading cryptos, also commodities. You could also be trading stocks, etc. just in trading in general. So in a nutshell, a stop loss is where you'd want to exit the market if your analysis on the charts is incorrect. And the take profit is where you'd like to exit the trade if your analysis on the chart is correct. So I'm just going to show you this very quickly on the charts. Okay, let's take the example of the USD. We want to go in an uptrend, right? We know that the basic of trading for an uptrend is a series of higher highs and higher lows. So therefore, we do want to shift, creating a higher low, right? And to go up, creating a higher high and a higher low and continue in this motion, right? So right here, this will be our previous low, where price moved from, previous low, right? And here will be the higher low because it is higher than the previous one, right? So I'm saying to you this, right? For me, whenever I'm doing my prediction, using my prediction tool for long, I would enter here when price has created a higher low, when the basic of trading would, would have been confirmed. So I would enter somewhere here when it actually moved off, right? To go up here. But I would put my stop loss somewhere here, right? Just below where the higher low created, right? So I'm saying to you this, if my analysis is correct, right? And price is gonna do this and continue up, I wanna stay in the trade all the way up here and exit at 549 pips, right? And if my analysis is incorrect, I want to exit the trade at 67 pips, right? So when you look at the risk to reward, it's an eight to one risk to reward. But why would I want to exit here? Let's hold a reason, right? I'm saying the definition why you put a stop loss if, if you're incorrect. So I'm saying to you this, if price does this shift and retrace and break the previous low, then the definition for an uptrend of higher highs and higher lows would have been void. So therefore, my analyst would be incorrect and I would want to exit the trade, all right? So it as simple put as that, all right? So let's take another example. Let's look at USDCHF. It's going in a downtrend, right? So it's going in a downtrend. We know from the basic of trading that definition of a downtrend is a series of lower highs and lower lows, correct? Watch your reasoning now. So we would want price to retrace here, create a lower high, then we'll continue. So therefore, I would set my stop loss right here and my take profit somewhere down here to get there about 248 pips stop loss, about 28 pips. Eight to one risk reward again. So I'm saying to you this, same scenario, right? Same scenario, watch me. I'm saying that if price, right? Let, let's rewind. If price does this, comes here, create this lower high right here, right? Let's say that price is creating this lower high right here. Lower high, right? You entered somewhere here, right? If price came here, retraced and broke that lower high, I would not want to be in that trade because at that point, the basic of trading for a downtrend would have been void. So I'm saying that if I'm incorrect, I want to take this loss of 28 pips. But if I'm correct, I'm going to let my winners ride and take this profit of 248 pips. Hope you find some value in this video. If you did, just smash that like button, right? And you can also comment below on any topic you'd like to see me cover, and I'll try my best to assist you. Also, you can ask me any question on social media or email me, 
and I'll try my very best to respond to you. Big up yourself and enjoy the rest of your week. I'm out.